Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new F1 video. Today we're gonna analyze the 2024 sprint race of the Austrian Grand Prix. So we're starting obviously with the drivers that run to this is the grid. This is the starting grid after the yesterday's qualifying. I did a video about it. I really suggest you to have a look before watching this. It's a very good video. We we analyzed all the qualifying. Anyway, here we are, Carlos Sainz P5, Leclerc P10, Verstappen on pole, second Norris, third Piastri. These will be crucial to have two McLaren, but at the end, Verstappen will win the sprint race, the two Mercedes, like that Leclerc with an engine problem, uh, starting P10. Uh, anyway, at the start, we they, they did two formation lap, uh, because probably, uh, as I could understand, for uh, a problem for the for the lights for the red lights, and so they did two formation laps, so one uh, so less one less lap of of the race uh, that would that should be of twenty four laps, but it was of twenty three. So at the start, Verstappen started really well, maintaining ESP one Norris not started really. Perfect and so Piastri almost tucked him, but at the end, no, very good start for Leclerc, look at that, and he gained two position in one corner uh, at the start against the two Alpines. Uh, not a very good start for the Mercedes as well, Sainz, uh, that was behind Russell, almost passed him, and at the end of, uh, bef before the end of lap one, passed, um, as I said, uh, he passed uh, George Russell. Also, Leclerc passed uh, Paris as well, and so in one lap, Leclerc was already seventh. What a uh, what a, what a first lap for Leclerc! What a start he did, honestly. Uh, so uh, going to to the battle, Norris really catching Verstappen. Then Verstappen passed Norris. Uh, look at that! He passed Norris here with a very Good, good, good overtake. I loved it. A lap six out of the twenty-three. What an overtake he did! Down inside, it really remembered me the twenty twenty-one Leclerc overtake uh, at the same corner in Austria. Maybe against Norris, I think. Uh, yeah, I I think it was against Norris. I I'm not sure of it of it, but and then Verstappen with a lovely move, switch back without the DRS. Uh, let let Norris think it would go around the outside, but then very good breaking down the inside, a bit wide, locking up. MPS3. MPS3. Switch back on Norris. Almost fast was over stopping around the outside on Norris then. And to take P2 and will maintain for the rest of the race. Lap 12 out of 23. This is the classification. We were stopping first, Piastri second, third, Norris, fourth Russell. That passed against signs a not very good Ferrari at the end, a very good first laps for Ferrari, but then no pace, basically uh, suffering a lot. Uh, you know, they had the top, the top seventh, they had like all, all of them, they had like the same pace, something like that, one, one tenth uh, of difference, uh, maybe so, very... Uh, it's crucial the qualifying Ferrari isn't good in qualifying and we know today they have to go they have to do a good qualifying. Uh obviously then close battle between the two McLaren's, yes, Verstappen at the end, PS3, but also Norris couldn't push as much uh, as they can to catch again Verstappen. And so battle uh between the two McLaren's at the end, PS3 won this battle without really overtaking so something like that. Um, and so lap 17 out of, of the 23, uh, Verstappen was again for 2.5 seconds of gap. Piastri again second, Norris third. N nothing really changed. Alonso dropped down to P14, but will drop down again to P16 behind Hulkenberg and Ricardo with that move of Hulkenberg. A bit aggressive. At the end of the sprint, obviously, Max Verstappen wins in Austria in Spielberg again, guys. Deserved. Really deserved, uh, nothing to say, nothing to say about it really, much deserved. 
amazing driver. Um, really, really deserved. The final classification, Verstappen first, second Piastri, for third Norris, fourth Leclerc, fourth Russell, I'm sorry. P5 for Carlos Sainz, P6 for Lewis Hamilton, P7 for Charles Leclerc, P8 for Perez, struggling. Uh, P9 for Magnus and P10 for Lance Stroll, P11, Ocon, P12, Gasly, drop down two positions, the LPs, P13, Sonoda, P14, Ulkemer, P15, Ricardo, P16, Alonso, P17, Sergeant, P18, Albon, P19, so, uh, Bottas, sorry, and P20, Guan Yu Zhou, this is the final top three, uh, drivers, this is the, the top eight, who gained points, Leclerc two points, Sergio Perez one point, three, Four, five, uh, six, seven, and eight parts for Max Verstappen. A strong McLaren, but not, but not as fast as ma uh, as fast as the Red Bull of Max Verstappen. We see again the overtake of London Norris. Really lovely this overtake, uh, but he used a lot of the tire. Also here we see, yeah, this was lap one, I think. Yeah, this was lap one with uh, also around the outside signs around the outside Leclerc. Also, with a very nice first lap for him. Uh, we're seeing again the start of Leclerc was really aggressive. Look at that. One. And then around the outside two. Almost passed also. Uh, Paris at the start was really, really lovely start. Then it passed him later. Like here. Round the outside very aggressively. Switch back and around your side here uh, in turn 5 6. Really love the start for Leclerc. Nothing to say much, much more. Hope this will be a good qualifying for Ferrari, obviously. Ferrari struggling qualifying. They are all there with pace. Uh, the real difference is the qualifying now. Uh, so, yeah, for this video, we'll just all the top two drivers of today are uh, I think P3 is, I don't know, maybe Charles Leclerc because of the start. Uh, did a very good start. P2, I put Oscar Piastri that overtook his team at London Norris. Lan London Norris, too many mistakes. When it really matters, Norris do a lot of mistakes, usually. Uh, and P1, we have Max Verstappen, I think. Uh, he really deserved the win. Uh, he's pushing a lot. Uh, look at his team at P8, and we know that. Um, I don't know, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Please don't forget to uh, check out the first link in the description for the casafon.com 8% special discount on the best Formula 1 models. And as always, it's been a pleasure. Cheers.